Imagine Windows 95 rebuilt for 2025, and powerful enough to run Cyberpunk. We're unpacking the magic right now, and if you want access, an exclusive viewer code is hidden later. Keep watching. Once the extraction is complete, open the folder and launch Rufus. Insert a USB drive with at least 8 GB of space, and make sure it's completely empty, because the process will erase everything on it. In Rufus, click Select, Find the Extracted ISO file and load it in, double check your settings to be safe, then hit start and confirm by clicking OK. Rufus will now create a fully bootable USB, ready to install the Windows 95 2025 edition. Once your USB is ready, simply restart your system and boot from it. If you're unsure about the process, a quick online search will guide you through. When everything works correctly, you'll be greeted by a sleek greenish installer window. From here, set your language and region preferences to begin. If you have a product key, you can enter it. Any official Windows 10 or 11 T will work seamlessly. And for our Volotic users, there's a special activation benefit available. Full details will be privately shared after your setup is complete. Imagine unlocking the full power of your PC with just one click. Volotic is your ultimate PC enhancer. Designed for performance and simplicity, optimized 150 games instantly for higher frame rates, auto clean all junk on startup to keep your system fast, install any app you need with just one click. Compress drives and save up to 70% space without deleting your files. Deblo and remove unnecessary blowbar effortlessly. Access 200 plus deep tweaks and 300 plus optimizations to push your PC to the limit. Install drivers quickly without the usual hassle. Holotic powers your PC, redefines performance. Unlock a lifetime license for Velonic for just $10. Don't miss out on this exclusive limited time offer. Grab it now before it's gone. PayPal, credit and debit cards accepted. DM me on Discord for crypto. With the installation complete, your system will boot directly to the desktop. Now, take a moment to like this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and enable all notifications so you never miss an update. Now open the configure file on your desktop. It is recommended to compress your drive, as this will save a lot of space without deleting any files or impacting performance. The compression process usually takes a few minutes to a couple of hours, but you can continue working normally while it runs. After compression, let's check the disk usage. It's only 6 GB, which is significantly less than what Windows 10 or 11 typically requires. This means you'll have plenty of space left for your files and applications, all while maintaining optimal performance. Unlike other custom OS versions, you can install updates here, including the official ones from Microsoft. Simply enable them in the Configure app, then go to Settings and unpause the updates. However, remember to install updates only when absolutely necessary. Microsoft updates often come with blowbar and unwanted extras that can consume space and slow down your PC. For browsing the web, you can install a browser of your choice through this app. If you want to use Windows Copilot, you'll need to go with Bench, but if you prefer Chrome or another browser, you can easily install it as well. Just click on the browser in the Configure app, and it will install automatically. You can visit my YouTube channel directly from the Configure app. Also, make sure to join my Discord server for some fun conversations and dedicated support if you need help with anything. The final step is to install the necessary drivers. Drivers are crucial for the smooth operation of your hardware. Whether you are gaming, editing, designing, or setting up dual monitors, this version includes the Microsoft Store, where you can easily download whatever you need. To enable the store, simply activate security updates only through the configurator. Once your drivers are installed, we will be ready for some serious fireworks. Also, the link to Volotic, the ultimate Windows optimizer, is available in the toolbox for quick access. If you prefer, you can also find the purchase links in the description of this video. Now that the configuration is complete, let's put it to the test by running Cyberpunk 2077. As promised, it performs smoothly, delivering a gaming experience that rivals and in some cases surpasses that of standard Windows 11 installations. Enjoy the time last.
Thank you for staying till now. Here's your exclusive viewer access as promised. Now let's get into a second method to install this voice. And the best part you won't even need a USB drive for this. First, you'll need an empty drive on your PC. One that doesn't have any important files. Photos or projects you care about, make sure it's completely free because everything on it will be wiped during the process. Once you've found the right drive, format it with the NTFS file system. You can do this easily by right-clicking the drive, selecting Format, and choosing NTFS from the file system options. After formatting, open the Extracted OS folder where you have all your setup files. Inside, you'll find a tool called OS Alchemy. Go ahead and launch it. Once it opens, select the ISO file of the OS you want to install. When OS Alchemy asks for the target drive, choose the drive you just formatted. After you confirm, OS Alchemy will start writing the files. Depending on the speed of your hardware, it might take anywhere from a few minutes to about 10 minutes. Once the process is complete, You'll need to restart your PC. Upon reboot, you'll see a dual boot window where you can select the new OS. From there, the rest of the installation process is exactly the same as what I showed you earlier at the 248 mark. So, if you need a reminder, feel free to rewind the video and review that section before moving ahead. Take your time, and make sure you follow the steps carefully to get everything set up perfectly. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for smarter tech, faster builds, and bigger ideas. This is Harbor of Tech, signing off.